Shalom Ubracha, beautiful, wonderful Sadiqim. Day 12, the middle for today, Pilpul Hatalmidim. This is a very interesting quality which really is so important. And for so many people, I've heard many a time that it's really not part of their life experience. And I would care to disagree. Pilpul Chaverim translates as teaching or sharing Torah with Talmidim, with pupils. Now, I can turn around and say, ah, but I'm not a teacher. First Pirkei Vice teaches us that everybody has to have Talmidim. What does this mean? <clears throat> that we're always in a situation where we could be a teacher or a pupil. So even when I'm learning with my Chavrusa, I can be in a situation where I'm diktik Chaverim, where I am exploring an idea, but then pilpul hatalmidim is once I've got a grasp on idea, I can say to my chavrusa, please can you listen to me articulate this idea fully to make sure that I understand it correctly. So now you've become the teacher and your chavrusa has become the pupil. And this could be pilpul hatalmidim. There's an idea, as we know, that light can only be appreciated from the darkness. Kisaron ha'or min hadas, or kisron, understanding the light from the darkness. And this is something very, very important to recognize that through sharing, through talking, through deliberately, as we mentioned before, articulating in a specific way, we better understand what we're saying. And when we're in front of somebody who can say something back to us to clarify us or to ask questions, it gives us even a deeper clarity. It's very interesting to note that the Bal Hafla is Hagdama teaches that when a person shares Torah, when a person's teaching Talmidim, or when a person's even in a role of Rebbe, even if they're speaking to their Chavrusa and their Chavrusa is listening, there's a certain Siyatid Shmai HaKadosh Baruch who blesses us with. So HaKadosh Baruch who gives us a certain gift. It's interesting as well to note that the Marsha documents in a couple of places, Meseches Shabbos 75b and Meseches Sanhedrin 42b, that when he wrote on specific topics, that he added in Torahs later. Why? Because when he thought of those chidushim, he was in the marketplace and he wasn't in the yeshiva. What's being said here is because he did not rigorously test these teachings with his Talmidim, Pilpul Talmidim to have this back and forth that he had to put it in later. So when he was thinking about in the marketplace, these ideas, it was just in his head. Then he comes to the base of Medrash and he rigorously tests them with his Talmidim. Then he wrote them down. This Nakuda is such an important Nakuda that if we want to be Mavakshe Emes, if we want to be a seeker of truth, if we want to be a being of Emes, of truth, we have to be open to share ideas, to clarify our ideas, to make sure that they hold strong. So Be'ez Ras Hashem, beautiful, wonderful, and brilliant Sadiqim for today. When we are learning, when we are thinking about an idea, let's share it with somebody. And let's allow ourselves the gift of hearing what somebody has to say. To create for us greater definition of truth. Be'ez Ras Hashem Yisbarach. May we be successful in all our endeavors.